Welcome to this video guys and in this video I will show you how to install Linux in Windows 10. We will be installing the specific distribution Ubuntu of Linux in our Windows system. So let's get started. First of all we need to enable a feature called Windows Subsystem for Linux. So to enable that go to your start menu, type Windows and you will see this option turn Windows feature on or off. If you don't see this you can type the full thing Windows features and you will see this option. So if you don't see this you can open this using control panel 2 but searching is the easy way so I'll just click on this and this Windows feature dialog box will pop up. Now scroll all the way down and you will see this Windows subsystem for Linux. Now check this and hit OK. So it will search for some files and it will finally finish enabling the feature and you will need to restart the computer after you have done that. So restart the computer and continue the whole video. Okay. So once you restarted the video, what you need to do is you need to go to the Microsoft Store. Again, go to your start menu, type Microsoft Store and you go to Microsoft Store, let it open. If you have not opened this earlier, it will take some time. So it will take around, probably around one or two minutes. So once your Microsoft Store is open, you need to type the Linux distribution that you will install. So for us, we will type ubuntu, that is Ubuntu. And as you can see here, it will show you all these options. So you can install any version you want. I just click on the default one, Ubuntu and it will get you to the latest version. Now you just click on get and it will start installing your Ubuntu in your Windows 10 system. So after you initially click get, it will take a few minutes and then it will start downloading it. So as you can see here, it is 589.9 MB, so it will take some time. I will speed up the video and I'll get back to you once this is downloaded. So once this is installed, you will see this option to open this. Now you can open it and Ubuntu terminal will open. So as you can see here, Ubuntu terminal is opening. There was an error there, so I click open again. So to fix that error, let me just first close this. To fix that error, you need to open your command prompt and you need to type WSL dash dash shutdown and after this, you type WSL config slash unregister u b u n t u make sure your u is first use capital because this is the one we had installed and after our unregistration successfully completes you need to install it again using wsl install dash dash distribution u b u n t u sl Now it will take a few minutes and then it will ask you for a username and password. So after a few minutes, you will get this option to enter new Unix username. Enter your username here and just write Tomcat and then you should enter a password. Retype the same password and after the operation successfully completes, it will do some final finishing ops and then you will be inside your Ubuntu distribution. So after the installation is successful, you will see this. Now this is not your regular Windows terminal, this is inside a Ubuntu distribution. So as you can see here, it shows Ubuntu 22.04 and stuff. And you can run your Ubuntu commands here. You can check Ubuntu distribution using this command. And you will see all the details regarding the Ubuntu distribution here. And you can run all the other Ubuntu commands or Linux commands here. So let me hit exit. And after hitting exit, as you can see, I'm again back to my Windows terminal. I can hit exit again. And to reopen this Ubuntu, what you need to do is, you can just go to start and type Ubuntu. And as you can see here, this open option, you can click open and it will open again. Now again, we are inside a Linux system. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.